What is going on big booty monkeys and welcome to the dynamic sword mod showcase now This is an awesome kind of average sized mod which adds an RPG feel to Minecraft by giving you skills You can learn to do with your normal sword on Minecraft now when you first make a new world on While well, you're using this mod you will spawn with this now This is a skill orb now you've got all different kinds of skill orbs which you can see here and this is the basic sword skill. Now, all you have to do is right click this and it will give you a level. Now, if you're in game mode not, like you normally would be, obviously, that disappears from your inventory. Now, as you can see while I'm looking in this chest, there are nine different skill orbs for you to get. There's the basic one, and it also shows your level, as you can see there while you're doing it, and tells you how to use this. There's the basic sword skill, the orb of armor break, the orb of parry, the orb of leaping blow, which is my favorite, the orb of dash, the orb of dodge, the orb of mortal draw, the orb of super spin attack, and the orb of normal spin attack. So now I'm going to show you what each of those do. So I spawned a couple of cows here, and now as you'll see by pressing X, this will lock me onto the nearest animal, and then by letting go of it again, it will stop it. So when clicking X, this allows me to use my new basic sword skill, which I've used. Now, every one of these use X and another combination, like, for example, up. But for this basic one, you hold X and then hit them. And as you can see up there, it shows your damage and your size for how many times you have done this. So each one of these is a combo. So there we go. I got a two, three, and four out of four. Combo. Now that is the max I can do at my current level of basic skill with my sword. But by right clicking this a couple of times, you can see my skill level go up again. Now this basic sword is the only one which goes up to 10 and the rest of these currently only go up to 5. But that's all you need because these are extremely OP. So now if you see my size now has gone up to 12 which is my max combo. Which then it will limit at and no longer increase. But as you can see there, I was doing 125 damage by the end of that, which is completely stupid. There's no need for you to do anywhere near that damage, since things like creepers only have 20 damage anyway. So, moving on. Now, the second one that I'm going to show you guys is the Orb of Armor Break. Now, to do this, you hold down X and hold down attack to recharge your sword, and it makes an awesome little hootush sound. So you just hold down X and hit at the same time and it will make a whip sound and it should try and at least break their armor. Now this is great obviously if you've got mobs like this which have come up and have armor. Now obviously it won't break them all in one go and it's more likely just to get you to do it. But as you can see if you look at this armor that helmet was completely and utterly shattered and the rest of it was not even damaged at all. So it will take a while for you to do this and you'll have a better chance just doing it normally. But if you want to destroy the armor of maybe your friend, you can go around doing that with no weapon in your hand and just constantly punching them. And you will end up breaking their armor and it will be a good laugh. The next orb that I'm going to show you guys is the Orb of Parry. Now this is only going to be able to be used against foes with weapons. So I'm not 100% sure if this works on skeletons, but the best one to do this on is a zombie pigman because they almost always have swords. So I'm going to spawn one of these in. Now what this allows you to do is if I quickly go to game mode not, so it will allow me to fight this guy and him come after me when I hit him. All you have to do is hold X and keep tapping back. And as you can see, I did that woof thing. Now he's not attacking me right now, so that didn't do it. But if I hit him, and now I just keep doing back, eventually it should either make a ting like that. And there we go, I've stolen his sword off him. So now he's doing a little bit less damage, not much if I'm honest. Uh, but this is going to obviously be a lot better if you're against a friend or something like that. The next one that I'm going to be showing you is my favorite, like I said at the beginning, the Orb of Leaping Blow. Now what this allows you to do is hold your block down like so, and then hold X to allow you to target, and then jump up, and it will do a big massive blow like it did there. Now you can imagine this is really good when you get surrounded by mobs like everyone does when they drop down in a cage, or a dungeon, and they're like, what can I do, what can I do? Just hold X, block, and jump in the air, and bang, you'll kill 
at least a lot of them, fingers crossed, and if not, you'll at least knock them back to try and get you somewhere to run away to. The next orb on my list is the Orb of Dash. Now, this allows you to aim at a enemy like this pigman here, lock onto him with X, block with your sword, and then hit the attack button, and you should do a little dash like this. Now, it's hardly affecting him, but there you go. You saw I hit him, and you just do a little little sprint towards them and give them a little hit and this is really good against enemies which may be a little bit faster than you or maybe a friend that's running away obviously all of these have a slight cooldown as it says there I can't use dash and that's because I've used too much in a short amount of time so make sure you don't overuse these because you might really need them the next orb on my list is the dodge orb now once you've got this to max level it allows you to aim at your enemy like so and then just by tapping side, twice you get a cool little dodge like that, and then it will aim on your character for you again. This is great for PvP if you're just doing it normal, or against a skeleton, because everyone knows they're annoying as hell when they're constantly firing arrows at you. So you can just keep dodging like this, and then let's say if you haven't got a armor, so I haven't got a weapon, you can keep hitting them with your fist, and you're much likely to not, much more likely to not get hit, which is really great because, you know, screw skeletons. The next orb that I'm going to show you guys is the Orb of Mortal Draw. Now, what this allows you to do is if you haven't got your sword in your hand, and something's coming at you, and you're going to panic and, you know, not hit them with the thing, instead of doing that, you just hold down X to aim on them, block, and then attack, and it will put the sword in your inventory in the right slot just before you hit them, allowing you to obviously do a lot more damage. So I'll just show you this again. You quickly block and hold X at the same time without your sword drawn, and then you just click, and it will pull out your sword and hit the guy, and then you can kill him, and you'll have the sword drawn, which is much more helpful, especially if something sneaks up on you. It just makes it all so much easier now last but not least i'm going to be showing you the spin and the super spin attack orbs which are probably my second favorite combined attacks in this so opposed to the leap attack these both put together is my second favorite thing in this mod so what this allows you to do is press x to lock onto your target and then hold both left and right while you've got a sword out and then it will spin you around now that is the normal spin attack so again i'll show you it will spin around like so killing everything within a 360 degree radius of you but now if you do this with the super spin attack you get your sword out lock on a character again hold both but then keep clicking attack whilst you're spinning and you will spin an extra amount of degrees, which is just pretty awesome. Look how quickly I go through these guys. I'll show you one more time. X, and then hold left and right. And when I start spinning, I just keep clicking. And look at that. I absolutely destroyed every one of them in about a second. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this mod so far. Now I'm going to show you guys where to find these awesome orbs. Now to find these awesome orbs, you have to do a little bit searching around and either find mob spawners or go to the nether and find nether fortresses. Now these orbs are kind of rare, so you've got to do a lot of finding and looking around to get them. But luckily, I've already done this before this episode, so let's go. <sighs> Yeah, there we go. So, I have found at first a spider spawner. Now, this was actually the first spawner I found. And as you can see, this chest is empty. But this one here has a, scorb, a skill orb of a dash, which then you can pick up and use for the one-time use. Unless, of course, you're in creative like me. Now, moving to the nether, I'll push this button here. Okay, guys, so because there was no torch or anything in here, my shaders were actually really affecting this and made it so I couldn't see. But now we're back in here, we've got this chest which is in a nether fortress, and it has a skill orb of parrying. Now this one took me ages to find, I actually found four chests. There's one just up here which you should be able to see, has nothing in, although it does have two diamonds and some gold horse armor. So that is pretty good, but anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this mod showcase. If you have, do not forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below on what mod you think I should do next. And Bye. Ooh, does it does this just have one? Does it? What do you think? Uh, no, it just has the shit ton of iron.